Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are finally doing an updated skincare routine. This is gonna be my nighttime skin routine and kind of like a get on ready with me. So I'm gonna take you guys through all the stuffs I do at the end of the day when I'm taking off my makeup and then what skincare products I apply. So I always get a lot of questions about this. Um, I feel like my skin is pretty good and I do take care of it very well. And I've always been kind of into skincare, like even as like a teenager growing up, I always like used my mom's like anti-aging stuff. So I don't know if that helps, but I feel like my skin looks pretty good. I will say that I've had Botox in here. No shame in that. Um, I am an angry elf. So if you go and look back at some of my old videos, like when I just started, like I would always be scowling. So that is due to Botox. Um, I have had under eye filler. Um, it's been like almost two and a half years. And I got that because I just genetically, ever since I was a little kid, had kind of like hollowness. Like I would have bags and then hollowness as well. So I had filler done in that area to kind of like make it look like I didn't have that, but it's been um, several years. So it's definitely worn off quite a bit. But yeah, I wanted to share with you guys my updated routine because I completely changed it. Like a few months ago, I started a new regimen and I stuck to that and I really have not been trying new products. That was one thing I was always doing. Like I would have like a few favorites here and there, but I wasn't consistently using like any products. Like I would get something new in the mail, try it out for like two weeks and then switch. And like, you don't see results that way. So these products I've been using since November. So it's been a few months and I can honestly say I've definitely noticed an improvement in my skin. I have kind of normal to combination skin in the winter time. I am more dry. What else did I want to mention? Oh, I am milia prone in the under eye area, especially a few years ago, I started getting it and I've had them extracted before, but once you get them, you're kind of like more prone to it. So they were definitely coming back. So I'll share with you guys the number one thing that helped me get rid of that. Also, everything in this video I purchased with my own money. It is not sponsored, it is not gifted. There are some products that I received in the past in PR, but I repurchased them on my own with my own money. So I wanted to put that out there. I will have a coupon code for one of the websites in the description box below. Um, I actually purchased from there and the owner recognized my name and she offered to give you guys a code and give me a commission code. So if you wanna use that, feel free. If you don't want to, don't use it. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it and I'm gonna start by removing my makeup. So I'm just gonna put my hair up in my scrunchie and just have it up there on top of my head. It's not gonna be cute. Maybe you think it's cute, I don't know. Okay, so my first step is always to remove my makeup with micellar water. So this is my favorite one. I've raved about it for years. It's the Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Water. I just like it. It doesn't leave a residue on my skin and it does a really good job. So I'm gonna be using these reusable cotton pads that I recently picked up. And these are kind of newer to me. I recently made the switch from like regular cotton pads just because I knew I was going through so many and it's bad for the environment. So I'm trying to do little things to do my part. So I am getting used to these. They're way bigger than like a regular cotton pad. So if you see me struggling, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate mm -hmm. the pad and it's dripping all over my body. And I'm just going to start by, you know, going over my face, swiping it like you would normally use a cotton pad. It is nice that it's big and you can use like one side and doesn't like soak through to the other side. I obviously have liquid liner on, mascara, all that. So I'm just gonna hold it over my eye for a little bit so I don't have to like scrub because that's not good for your eyes, obviously. Your eyes are so like delicate. All right, so now basically everything is off and we're gonna go in with cleanser. And I'll be honest with you guys, I go through cleansers, like try different ones, and I don't have any that I really, really love, but this one I did end up repurchasing just because I felt like it was like multitasking. It is this one from Holy Frog, which is a newer brand. This is my second bottle of this. This is their Omega Nutritive Gel Wash. So they have different formulas and this one, is one that says deep cleans, replenishes, and tones all at once and multitasks as well as you do. So this one I feel like is great for removing makeup. Um, it doesn't strip your skin. It also has probiotics in there which help to balance your skin. 
and I don't know, it's pH balanced as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Another one that I love and I went through quite a bit of, if you're looking for a more affordable one, is this Bliss Makeup Melt. So this one's really nice if you want something um, that's drugstore. I don't think it's as good as this one because it doesn't have you know the probiotics in there, but it is a good one and you can get it like at Target. Can you guys see me? This is so hard and weird. <laughs> there's no we I feel like there's no like good way to do this. All right, and then I'm just patting my face dry. Pat, pat, pat. So now that my skin is nice and clean, not squeaky clean, I feel like if your face feels squeaky clean, then it's probably stripped and that's not good. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use one of my favorite resurfacing serums. So I've raved about this so many times. I actually just went and picked up another bottle of this because I was all out and I went to film this video. I'm like, oh my God, I have none left. So. This I wanted to incorporate into my routine because it's one of my holy grail products. And so this I use probably three or four days a week. It is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Serum. This has hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. And I've gone through probably like six of these. It's just my favorite. It is a AHA BHA combination. And for me, this just gives me glass skin. It like clears out my pores. It makes my skin so incredibly smooth. If I have any breakouts coming, um, I put this on and it basically stops them from happening. And it makes my pores look smaller and it's just overall amazing. Gives you glass skin and I can't say enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a few pumps of this. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. And this has a really nice honey scent. And the honey in there, I feel like makes it so it's not drying. If you've never used this before though, it can feel a little bit tingly, just beware. But, oh, I just love it so much. I've tried similar products to this. I just feel like they don't compare. So I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit so it's not like tacky anymore. I personally don't like leave like a certain amount of time in between my products. I kind of just layer them and I haven't had any issues. I know some people, you know, believe in like waiting 30 minutes or something like that, but I personally don't. I kind of just wait till it's not tacky on my skin so I know it's like absorbed and then I'll move on. Okay, so while I'm letting that dry down, I just wanted to share with you guys the number one thing that helped me get rid of my milia on my under eye area. So basically I stopped using any kind of facial oils or products with high oil content in them. And somebody recommended that to me and honestly, my skin has never looked better. So I know everyone's skin's different, but I feel like oils, I don't know how to say this. I feel like oils, when you put them on your skin, it feels like your skin is so hydrated, but I feel like it's just like so surface level and it's not actually hydrating the cells in your skin. It's just kind of like faking it and like making it seem it because your skin is so like glowy afterward. But once I eliminated using facial oils in my routine, I saw a huge difference in my skin. Like the size of my pores, the milia, I don't know. I just felt like my skin looked so much better and clearer and just, better in general. So if you have been struggling with milia, try eliminating the facial oils or specifically not using them in the areas that you're prone to that and see how it works for you. But yeah, I try to use products that don't have like argan oil or coconut oil or all these like thick heavy oils in the top ingredients. If they're at like the bottom of the list, I will use them. But if it's at the top, I'm just like, no, I'm not risking it. So I don't know, take that with a grain of salt, but I feel like I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin. So now I'm gonna talk about these serums that I use on my skin. And one of the brands, it was funny because I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of them kept talking about this brand called Truth Treatments and then one day I went to get Botox and the doctor in the office that I went to, they started carrying the line. I was like, okay, so this is a sign. I need to start trying these products because they have great ingredients. They're not full of like fillers and waxes and the science behind them seemed pretty amazing. So I've been using them since November and I 
am obsessed. So I have three products from them and I have the system called the Trifecta. And then I also have the vitamin C balm, which I'll show you guys. And then I also have my retinol serum that I use. And this is from a brand called Osmosis, which is another really good medical grade skincare brand. And they have like really good ingredients in them as well. They're non-toxic and the ingredients like in the products, they're not like crazy long because once you see like a crazy long ingredients list, sometimes it's just like, okay, what are like half of these things, you know? So that's that. Um, I will show you guys how I apply them, but the reason that I switched to a lot of medical grade products is because I feel like the prices at Sephora these days or like department stores, they're so high and they're not even medical grade. So it's like, okay, these products are very similar in price. Why wouldn't I go with something that has like the medical research and technology and science behind it? You know what I'm saying? Because some of the stuff is just like all pretty packaging and these I feel like really do work. And if you look into them and you do your research, they have amazing science behind them. I'm not gonna butcher all the science <laughs> behind them, but basically they work on a cellular level instead of just like at the surface. And they have like clinical trials, all of that. With anything, do your own research and then try it out. Don't just listen to me. So I'm gonna show you guys how I apply. So. These are the three from Truth Treatments. So I have the Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator, which is like a hyaluronic acid serum. I have the Biometric Mineral Mist, which is a mist that helps like deliver it like deep into your cells. It helps it like go like through just like the top layer of your skin and really get down into the cells. That's like the delivery system. And then I also have the Transdermal Bomb, which comes in this little pot like this. This is just the travel size and these are the full size bottles. So it's not crazy packaging or anything like that. They're just these little black glass bottles. So I'm gonna apply these. I kind of mix them all in my hand as a cocktail. That's like how they recommend you apply it. And then in that, I'm going to also mix in my Renew Advanced Retinol Serum. So this is a special kind of retinol. It's retinol with an A and it's not um, sun sensitive or I can't, I don't know what the scientific word is, but you can use it AM and PM. I personally only use it at PM, but I really like this. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply them. I'm going to take like a pea size amount of the vitamin C balm. I love the Truth Treatments vitamin C products. They have a serum, like a dropper serum that I also really like too. It's so hydrating. They do not smell like hot dogs, like a lot of the vitamin C products out there. Then I just added a few sprays of the Mineral Mist. And then I'm gonna add two pumps of the Hydrator. You can add three. I'll add three. And then, I'm also adding in the Renew. So I'm almost out of this. So to get a full pump, I have to like squirt it a few times, but you can use like two pumps of this. So then all you have to do is kind of mix it all together in your palm. It creates this kind of cocktail and I like cocktails. So I'm just going to apply it. So if you can see that retinol product was kind of like a yellowish, orangish tint. And that's why I don't apply it during the day because I feel like it kind of leaves like a little bit of like a yellow cast on my skin. But I mean, if you're wearing makeup, you're not going to see it, but I'm just kind of working it all in. And I use this under the eyes too. And obviously you don't want to forget your neck. And then whatever is left on my hands, I just put on the back of my hands because we don't want saggy, baggy hands, you know? Then the eye cream that I've been using is this one. Again, it's medical grade, but you only need to use a little bit of this. Like half a pump is all you need. And I've been loving it. I feel like my dark circles have definitely improved. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't burn my eyes. Again, I'm almost out of this because I've been using all this stuff for like months. So I'm just patting this underneath my eyes, bringing it up and around. And I kind of just let it soak in. So but even if it looks like it's not like all the way like blended and I just let it kind of like soak in before I hop in bed or do whatever I'm doing. And if I'm feeling extra dry, which it's winter time and I am feeling extra dry, I take a little bit of my 
Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry Skin Gel Cream. This is fragrance free. It's basically like a hyaluronic acid cream and I do really like it. I just feel like it locks in all the moisture without being greasy and heavy and oily. I feel like your skin needs hyaluronic acid more than it needs oil, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna massage all of this in. And yeah, that is basically my routine. Oh, and the one other thing, this is my favorite hydrating lip oil. They just came out with more flavors, but this is the Ciate Watermelon Burst. The packaging, it's all worn off, so you can't see it. But this I use as like a nighttime lip treatment. I just like it the best. Again, it's hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid if we're being like Eva Longoria. All right, and so that is basically it. Those are all the products I use. I feel like there isn't too terribly many products. I don't know. Some people only use like water, I guess, but I'm not that kind of girl. So um, yeah, I know that a lot of these products are more on the expensive side, but I just feel like, like I said earlier, I would rather put my money towards products that are backed by like medical science and technology and research than like Sephora Ulta products that are a lot of the times are just marketing and packaging. You know what I'm saying? Um, not to say that they're all bad, but these I feel more comfortable using. Like I'm getting older and I only have one skin. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys use medical grade products or what your thoughts are on them. And if you could only do one medical grade product, I'd probably go with vitamin C just because from what I've read, it's a very tricky substance to make stable and make sure it actually is effective. So I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will put my code on the screen and feel free to use it. Feel free to not use it. Do you? And I will see you guys next time. Never look at yourself this close up, ever. Also, never buy a 9 